Hello, my name is Lachlan Mallon and I'm a Digital Transformation Associate here at ProFiltry. And I've been lucky enough to work alongside Ulster University in developing and implementing a new digital transformation model, which if followed and used correctly, could transform your business while helping you achieve maximum results. This model is known as the Easel Conceptual Model, a simple five-step guide for organizational planning and strategy. The first step of the Easel Conceptual Model is known as the External Analysis. And this is effectively looking at where you are now. You will want to actually scan the external environment or the macro environment as it's known to see what potential opportunities there is or any threats you may have to defend against. A simple tool in which you could follow or use during this process is known as a PESTEL analysis. PESTEL is an acronym for political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal. Looking at these factors, you can actually seek out what potential opportunities you could exploit. As well as this, defending against threats will also put you in a lot stronger position while entering the second stage of the easel conception model. The second step, as you could probably imagine, is the internal analysis, looking at exactly where we want to go. So the key things that you want to keep in mind here is why are you conducting the digital transformation in the first place? What do you want to achieve? And what does your long-term vision look like? Another key tool which you could apply here is a SWOT analysis. SWOT is an acronym for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Your strengths are the areas that your customers value, whereas your weaknesses are those areas that you wish to improve on. Your opportunities are going to be the areas of the business which you could leverage or use to your advantage, and the threats are those factors which are deemed harmful to your business. Now that we know exactly where we are now and where we want to go, we can now put our wheels in motion and actually decide how we're going to get there. So the third step of the easel conception model is known as strategy. As you can see from the easel conception model, we have actually split strategy up into three different stages. So briefly summarizing each, the first one we can look at is strategy adoption. Within this stage, you want to think about how you're going to get overall buy-in and involvement to the project. You will also want to consider what type of culture needs to be embedded to ensure it's a success. You also also think about which value discipline you choose, which will take the overall arch and focus of the transformation. But I'll explain about that in a wee bit more detail afterwards. The second step is strategy development. Looking at exactly what type of goals and what type of objectives you're going to try and achieve, as well as how your culture might align to these goals and objectives. Strategy implementation is one that's very important because a lot of business leaders actually either leave this out or fail to implement it correctly. So you really want to think about how you're actually going to set up key performance indicators to measure your success towards achieving and obtaining goals and objectives. You may want to create a roadmap for implementation to ensure that you're on track to achieving your goals and you're progressing in the right direction as well. So as mentioned, the value disciplines play a key role within the strategic element of the easel model. And whichever one you choose will take the overarching focus of the overall digital transformation. So you're probably wondering what these mean or how you apply them. But before doing that, I want you to know that these are based on the theory and context that businesses cannot aim to deliver everything to their market or to their customers. Otherwise, they can become stuck in the middle, which is unsustainable for the long-term growth and value of the business. So taking into consideration each of these value disciplines and which area you may want to focus on, the first one that we can look at is customer intimacy. Customer intimacy are firms who really are trying to build a strong relationship and rapport with their customers. They actually prioritize the lifetime value of their customers over their costs. This is seen with the likes of Amazon, who have created incentives such as Amazon Prime and other initiatives to actually lock in with their customers and ensure that their customers come back and buy from their products and services again and again. The second one that we can look at is known as operation excellence. And this is providing customers with reliable products and services at compared to prices and delivered with minimal difficulty or inconvenience. Now, if we can think of who actually does this really well, 
I would probably say it would be McDonald's. Through their advanced business processes, they are actually industry leaders through both price and convenience. The third and final value discipline is known as product leadership. And this is actually companies who are so innovative in the sense that they're constantly bringing out new solutions to their customers' problems. Now you're probably wondering what type of business does this, but this would be the likes of Apple, who are constantly innovating, bringing out new features and new products each year through the likes of the iPhone. As well as actually entering new markets, this has allowed them to actually be more competitive and actually advance and beat their competitors year on year. This brings us on to the fourth step of the Easel Conception model, which is known as evaluation and control. So now that we know what our strategy is, where we want to go, what our goals and objectives are, and how we may achieve them, we want to actually measure our success, as this will allow us to identify whether we're on track to achieving the correct outcomes. We want to also view digital transformation as a new way of working, a new way of doing things for your business. So you want to ensure that you have the correct collaboration, as well as the correct involvement and the right control element in place to ensure that the new ways of working, the new ways of doing things, remain consistent for as long as possible. This brings us on to the final step of the easel conception model, which is learning and feedback. As you can see from the diagram, these arrows actually represent that there's learning and feedback throughout the whole process of the transformation. However, you still want to ensure that you actually reflect on your transformation to see what went well and what didn't to allow you to actually perform better if you were to do this again. It may also be a good opportunity within this stage to conduct group feedback sessions, not only to get an understanding of how the overall digital transformation went, but to also see whether the new processes, the new ways of doing things, or the new culture are actually embedded and everyone understands what the new ways of doing things actually look like. That is the conclusion to the easel conception model. If you would like more information on the model itself or how you may apply it to your business, please contact Profile Tree today and I'll be happy to help.